Hello and welcome to my kitchen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make dal sakri, also known as sesame brittle. Now this sesame brittle is made using sesame seeds, of course, and jaggery or gar, which is basically a sugarcane juice, which is reduced it. They cook it up and reduce it until it becomes a solid block. And they make this during winter traditionally because what it does the sesame seeds and the jaggery is that it heats your body from the inside so it prevents illnesses and it's just really good to have during winter days and you can get two types of jaggery one is gonna look very brown like this one here and the other one is gonna look kind of white like this one is and they're both jaggery made from sugarcane juice. My mother-in-law says the brown one is better and I've looked on the internet and the brown one is recommended. But seeing as I have both of them, I'm going to make some dalsakri with each of them and just see how they come out. So let's get cooking. I have 50 grams of sesame seeds and 50 grams of the brown jaggery for one of the batches and I'll be using 50 grams of the white jaggery for the other batch. And I'll be using a quarter to half a teaspoon of this vegan butter. You can use normal butter or even ghee if you like. The first thing we're going to do is to toast the sesame seeds. Toasting up the sesame seeds gives the sesame a little bit of a crunch. It gives it a better flavor. So definitely don't skip this step. Now they're starting to pop. This is a good time to stop. So I'm just going to remove it to my bowl. Then I'm just going to add a little bit of fat to each of these frying pans and then melt the jaggery in there. And what the fat does to the brittle is to give it a nice sheen. So we just want to melt the jaggery in the frying pans. And my heat is very low. It's on my lowest setting. So the texture of the brown jaggery is very like sticky and good. It feels really nice and soft and sticky. Whereas the white jaggery is a little less sticky. And that's what my mother-in-law was saying is that the white jaggery is not as sticky as the brown one. So once it's completely melted, I'm just going to add the sesame seeds and mix it in. So it's starting to change color a little bit there. just want to mix it in and then we're going to lay it out on some parchment paper. So my heat is off and now I'm going to get ready to spread it on some parchment paper. So this is the dark brown jaggery that I used for this batch. Spread it out. And this is the light brown jaggery.
So I'm just gonna top this with another sheet of parchment paper and then flatten it out with a rolling pin. Kind of hard to roll, the paper is slipping everywhere. Oops. All right, I finally managed to roll it and I'm gonna remove the top sheet. And this is how it comes out. Now, it's pretty difficult to tell actually if you didn't know that one was made with the dark jaggery and one with the white jaggery. Take a look, can you tell? This one here is the dark jaggery and this one here is the white jaggery. Now I think the white jaggery actually caramelized a bit while I was making it and that's why it turned a little bit brown but they both look very similar. Now, I wasn't very particular about making my shapes really well, so one looks like Australia to me and the other one like the North Pole, but you can be more careful about the shape if you want to. Now, once it's cooled, I'm actually just gonna cut it into about one inch squares. Now, I can definitely tell while I'm cutting the brittle that the one with the white jaggery is a lot more crisp, whereas the brown jaggery was a little bit softer. You can hear the crunch as well. It's a lot more brittle. So if you like your brittle really crunchy, then go for the white jaggery. And if you like it a little less crunchy, then use the brown jaggery. And also I only made a small quantity here, but you can make as much as you like. Just multiply the recipe using equal amounts of the jaggery and the sesame seeds. The full written recipe is up on my website, melham.com. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all soon for some more cooking inspiration. Oh, so good. Mmm.